a major presidential election overseas today in Russia, and the results, pretty much a foregone conclusion. Mm -hmm. Vladimir Putin will almost certainly win a fourth term in office. Putin's already cast his vote, but what's making news is the finger pointing at the Kremlin over the poisoning of a former spy and his daughter in the UK. ABC's Terry Moran in Moscow for us again this morning. Terry, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. A beautiful election day here in Moscow. The voting's actually already begun across this vast country's 11 time zones. And Russians go to the polls today with their government facing more suspicion around the world, more sanctions and more economic challenges ahead. But for all that, they tell pollsters this country's going on the right track under Vladimir Putin. This morning, Putin casting his ballot in Moscow, a shoe in to win his fourth term, extending his rule over Russia. We visited the polling station on Moscow's outskirts. Cameras in every precinct, anti-voter fraud measures were told, and lots of support for Putin. Who did you vote for? Uh, I voted for our current president, Vladimir Putin, she tells us. He guarantees us peace, a good life. The voting coming against a darkening backdrop of the investigation in Britain into the nerve agent poisoning of a former Russian spy. Sources tell ABC News British officials now have a clearer picture of just how former double agent Sergei Skripal and his daughter were exposed to the poison. They believe the military-grade nerve toxin was used in a dust-like powdered form that it circulated through the ventilation system of Skripal's BMW. Scotland Yard releasing this surveillance video and asking anyone who saw the car that day to come forward. Another possible clue? Sources also tell ABC News that Skripal was shouting and acting incoherently in a restaurant just before he and his daughter collapsed. Symptoms consistent with the early stages of exposure to a nerve agent. We will never tolerate a threat to the life of British citizens and others on British soil from the Russian government. Russia still vehemently denying the accusations that it was behind the attack, expelling 23 British diplomats and shutting down a consulate. We know for sure that it is not us. And we know for sure that in that case, the real criminals, they are still out. Russians, by and large, just don't believe these accusations. They say the whole attack doesn't make any sense. Uh, they are also being told a very different story. The foreign ministry not only denying the charges against Russia, but pointing the finger at other countries, the U.S., the U.K., the Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Sweden. Dan and Paula? Hard to overstate the power of state media in Russia. People there tend to believe what the government is telling them. They Terry, do. Yeah. And as you pointed out yesterday, yeah. Putin is extraordinarily popular. Super popular. Terry, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Terry.